I think I can build a saxophone out of computer keys. That that would be a crazy thing to do. Yeah, a saxophone made from computer keys would be pretty crazy, but that's what this is. This is the Haxophone. If you have been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I enjoy all things to do with electronic saxophones, from the Akai Iwi to the Aerophone. One of our tutors, Fred, even made a video about the travel sax recently. But this popped on my radar when Mike, one of our sax school students, asked in the community if anybody else fancied making one. Yes, me, pick me, I'd love to. This is exactly the sort of thing I love to do. But I'm so busy making videos for you guys, I actually asked Mike to go ahead and make one of these and send it to me, and that's what this saxophone is. So let's talk a bit about what this project is and why you would even want to make your own saxophone. Uh, so I have a several, uh, they are all black. Uh, yeah, the boards are black, but sometimes I will populate black pieces for the black edition. And okay. sometimes when I'm feeling funky, I will use the, the colorful one, which is the one that actually pretty much everyone prefers. So that's Javier Cardona. He's the creator of the Haxophone. It's an open source project, and that means that he's made all of the resources for it available for you to download and then get it built yourself or, or build it yourself. But I wanted to know how a project like this even gets started. This was a COVID project. Moved from San Francisco to Portugal, and I said, look, let's just build something with all the ingredients, all the things that I like to do, put them together into a project. I mean, I like playing the saxophone, obviously. I like programming. I like tinkering. Uh, I like open source. I like mechanical uh, keyboards. So I, I started prototyping when I realized that I had something that worked and it was fun and interesting. I said, let me publish it. Let me put it out there. I've been contributing to open source all my life and I like the idea of uh, sharing, so I put it out, maybe somebody else finds it interesting. So I'll tell you in a second how Javier is actually running a crowdfunding campaign to get these hexaphones built and sold that way, but for now, it's available on the open source platform, and that's exactly where Mike Turner, our sax school student, first discovered the project. Pretty cool though, all the information is actually online, so you can build your own one. What I put on GitHub is everything. So I put the hardware design, the, 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 the files that you would send to a factory to build the printed circuit boards, the software, everything is out there. So that's exactly what Mike did. He went ahead and ordered the PCBs, the printed circuit boards. That's this big yellow part here. And he ordered all the keys and all of the electronic components and all that sort of stuff and started assembling it. Now the heart of the Haxophone, like a lot of these sort of projects, is a Raspberry Pi. And if you're not familiar with the Raspberry Pi, it's this really cool micro computer. They're about 35 US dollars and you can do so many things with it, including making an electronic saxophone. Who knew? Now I did contribute something to this project. I 3D printed the mouthpiece parts and the thumb rests as well for me and for Mike. But Mike did all the really hard work. It's amazing really, soldering everything together, assembling them and testing them before sending them over to me. Okay, so it's not perfect and things do fall off, but that's part of the fun of making a project like this. But what if you're not the sort of person that likes to get a soldering iron out and assemble something like this? It really started getting a little bit of a, of a, of a buzz. People reached out and said, look, I'm a musician. I'm not a hacker, but I like the instrument. Is there any chance that you can build a few for those of us who don't know how to solder, who don't know how to program? And that's how we did the crowdfunding uh, campaign, where those I will be building them uh, with, a, with a partner. So I'll put a link to all of that down below if you're curious to go and check out the crowdfunding thing, if it's still running while you watch this video. But what is the Haxophone for? I mean, who does it suit and what might you use it for? I, I never claim that this is a saxophone. I never claim that this can replace your horn, right? What I claim is that Whatever you learn on the saxophone, you can actually quite well transfer it to a real horn. I mean, if it, sometimes you know the, the finger memory, the, the muscle memory that you have to develop, you can develop it on the saxophone, and then transfer it to the real horn. 
Hey, I completely agree with Javier too. I've been having so much fun with the saxophone over the last few days, and it's amazing how quickly it feels like a saxophone underneath your fingers. Let me just show you quickly around the saxophone and the layout of it. So you'll notice I've got a mouthpiece at the top here. This is actually an alto saxophone mouthpiece, and the little mouthpiece part here is just the right diameter for an alto mouthpiece to fit on. But of course, you don't really need the reed on there. It's just a familiar shape to have in your mouth. But what it does do is supply the air down the air tube into a breath sensor. So you've got breath control on this, which means you can play louder and softer with your air, just like you would on a saxophone. And like every other digital saxophone, there's a little tube here for all of your spit to come out the bottom too. Now these are computer keys, but actually the layout of them is very similar to a standard saxophone. You've got your B, A, G, F, E, D keys. You've got your low C and E flat keys. You've got your left hand table here with your G sharp, B, C sharp, and low B flat. And you've even got palm keys. So I know that we've got D, E flat, and E on the side here. And you've got your side trill keys here as well. So you've really got all the notes from a saxophone. There's an octave key at the back. <laughs> So once you get used to the shape and the feel of it, it does feel like a saxophone. So apart from the keys, there's a mini headphone jack at the bottom here and a USB for power. And the other USB, you can actually connect that directly into a computer and it shows up as a MIDI device, which is very, very clever. So I guess the cool thing about this too is it's so portable. Apart from the clicky keys, there's no sound that comes out of it, only the headphone sound. So really you could take it anywhere. I mean, I tried on airplanes. You were on an oh, airplane. Yeah. I was just, uh, I, I flew to Japan this summer and I was just there and people look at you and say, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. They would not probably give me the same look if I had a real tenor sax and I no. was annoying everyone on the, on, on the airplane. Something I think super cool about the Hacksophone project is it's something that's going to be developing over time because it is a hackable, customizable product. You can build it yourself, you can change the way it looks, you can even change the software so that you can make it do other things. In fact, Javier was telling me about all sorts of different ideas that people already using the Hacksophone have been experimenting with or suggesting to add to the Hacksophone itself. If you're the kind of person that likes to hack things and modify things and make things their own, then this will really appeal to you. Somebody was telling me they, they would like to incorporate a metronome on, on the Hacksophone. It doesn't have a metronome right now, I was also exploring the idea of putting backing tracks or to putting games, you know, like Simon, you know, the, the old game where it, it plays a, a sequence of notes and then like for ear training, then you have to uh, repeat it with a saxophone and he could even tell you if, you if you did right or wrong. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Now I mentioned Javier is running a crowdfunding campaign. I think it's just about to finish, or it may have finished by the time this video goes out, but I'll put the links to that down below and also where you can go and find out more about the Hacksophone or go and download the parts and build your own one of these too. I really do think it's an exciting project and if you like to tinker with stuff, this is a fun thing to play with. And I also love the fact that even though we talk about saxophones every day and I love playing my real saxophone, sometimes it's fun to just do something a little bit different. To me, it has already been a surprise that there's more than one person interested in it. <laughs> so um, anything that comes after that is, is bonus. It's, it's, it's just pure happiness. It's, I, I, I'm a big fan of open source. I think it brings out the best in people. I don't know, just yesterday, somebody found a, a problem with when we were using the saxophone with an old Raspberry Pi. They suggested a solution, and to make it even better, this, the solution involves duct tape. So that's perfect. I mean, that's really the perfect solution you want to see, right? It just makes me happy. You know, I was smiling for hours after hearing that.